28 millimeter RPG here, Rick, and today we are going to have a game of Castles and Crusades, which is vaguely continuing from our last episode. However, we have new players today. We have to my uh, this way is Hal uh, Rizian being played by Big Bad RPG. What kind of You're character are you playing? Half elf, shit talker, possibly badass warrior. We'll find out later. <laughs> And then, okay, we have Josh playing Rain. What well, do you play? I'm playing a uh, gnome cleric. Okay. Anything we should also know about the gnome cleric, or is that it? Uh, slightly evil. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Put that in my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's got the ill, you know, eyes on each other now. Dun, dun, dun. dun. <laughs> Down below me here is Spencer playing Mick. Tell me about your character. He is a human barbarian. Nonchalant, brought up on the back side of the moon and back again, beaten, torn, bashed, and ready to get some payback. Okay. He's been uh, he's been roughed up. He's got scars and everything. Pretty scary dude. And then last but not least, we have Mr. Max, who is playing Bernier. Yep. Human thief. is a professional. He's in it for the money. No-nonsense kind of guy. But with a good demeanor. Right on. And... Is an NPC with you? His name is Carnwick. Carnwick is from the town that you have come from. The... <clears throat> The manor home, basically. The manor home had various little shops. Uh, they're kind of a little village kind of areas. And they have required that your team of semi-professionals go into what was known to be some Saken rune off about a day's distance from the manor area. And there had been rumors of another group, which was kind of you know, lingering in the background, that had gone there quite some time ago and had never returned. Harnwick says, so our goal here is definitely to rescue potential people that have been missing from our town. It has been rumored that they are in this location up ahead. And headed pr uh, through the forest, you can kind of see a remains of a ruin in the background, kind of light, kind of back lighting the castle up in the hill area. Between the trees, you can see that there's a little washout area where there seems to be some sort of old, decrepit ruins. And you can kind of see what appears to be some form of entrance. Cornwick, you want us to go up there? Uh, no, we ain't going up there. That would be definitely suicide if they have cultists there already. It has been presumed that this is a uh, hideout haven for the cultists of Morgoth. Morgoth, I don't like that person. What do you guys think? I think we should go in there. Yeah, find a. Uh, do find we think that, entrance? We, uh, wait, we're there for like to look for this other party. Do we think that's where the the party is? Do you think like like are they have been like? Do we have any information? Or are they like been cut by the cultists? We don't want we, to bargain like we this have, more. Uh... We had no idea, says Carnwick. No idea what happened to them. They disappeared. I don't know. Maybe they they tried to attempt to go in and never made it, or maybe they ran off the loot or something. But they definitely didn't come back with the uh, women and children that had been missing. But definitely, the Manor Lord has given us a uh, purse. Of a hundred gold, if we do return with the villagers. 
Now you're talking yeah. my language. Slick back my hair. Let's try to investigate the easiest. Ah, you thing got first. hair? I don't. I'll drop a little oil on his head and rub it for him. <laughs> yeah, but it's nice and shiny head you got. That's right. Get a buffer out. What kind of nonsense are you speaking, Mick? <laughs> oh, I'm speaking of we need to go and see these people. We need to see if we can find them. I'm Maybe itching they... for a fight. I want to see what's in there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before we go for fight, maybe let's do some reconnaissance first. You know, can we just like, is there just one door? Let's look around. Let's try to figure out if there's like something going on, like get some information. We don't want to go in blind. Are you fucking like retarded? Well, Mr. Ask. Leather Pants, Leather Pants, why don't, uh, why don't you go ahead and do some scouting around? I'll be right behind you. And an you want to be on me? There, Bernier. I'm you're, only you're half gonna... retarded. <laughs> you're the thief. You're gonna be behind me in your like, like. Look at what you're wearing, man. Hey, can't help it that you're poor and I'm not. You should be a better thief. Yeah, I want, I want like a fucking paint a target on my back. Come on. I got Although the if I go there, If I go there alone, that's extra risk I'm taking. It's gonna serve you. It's gonna make you come in like more prepared, but extra risk mean extra pay. So maybe we need to discuss that a bit. Maybe it'll be a little bit closer. Okay, 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 okay. Everyone just stop here for a second here. Now, Bernier, do you think you could look for traps before we enter this thing? Of course, I can look at the, I can observe the door. If the door is, is trapped, I should be able to find it, you know? But I'd like us to come in with a plan, you know, just like, let's try to be smart around here, you know, like, we know what you say, there's old adventurer, and there's bold adventurer, but there's no bold old adventurer. So, yeah, uh, you, know, you know, I don't make the best decisions. I stick both feet forward before I go in there. Yeah, when, so, when is going to be something, uh, when we're going to need somebody to hit something hard, we'll call you. Well, what do you think, right? too loud, I'm not deaf. <laughs> well, they're arguing. I, I just keep walking towards the door. Yeah, I'll, I'll go on rain. I'll go toward the door slowly. I look around the door. I, I, I look. Is there any marking around the door? Is there any? Is there a sign of recent use? As you approach, Bernier, you notice that there is actually no door in the entrance. You do see that there is spindles of what appear to be wisps along the sides of the of the entryway. Very reminiscent of what you're seeing in the background. And further in, it seems to thicken up with some silvery threads in the air. Just continues into blackness. Your Infravision, your eyesight doesn't really pick up anything. Yeah, I'm human, so I don't, that. I don't seem to see anything, but just oh, I forgot my candles as well. Do we have any lights we can see inside? Use the top of my head. <laughs> I will Here cast the uh, light light spell on the top of Mick's head. Well, barbarian no, goes first. No <laughs> Rain casts spell. Mix head glows above. Before wait before okay let me let me check properly before anybody goes in. You know, I'll check if there's no like chip wire. I'm gonna look like let me look at those with there. Let's I, you know I don't know you guy. You wanna go get killed? I'm fine with it, but if we all if we don't come back, that's gonna be no pay, you know. I I won't be able to rescue those people alone, so I kind of need you, you know. I came here now, like I'm out in the wood. I'm already out of my expense. Don't so worry, I'll we'll let you die. You'll be fine. We'll just we'll drag you back out if anything happens. Yeah. Maybe. I know it's CPR. I have some so I bandages. I, have some I got bandages. I got lots of bandages too. <laughs> 
I take I take my time to really like look at the doorway, look like there's no nothing on the ground, nothing like that can that that you're gonna re raise an alarm or something like that. Roll your d20. Dexterity check. Yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be uh twelve. Twelve. Nice. And roll a wisdom as well. Wisdom. Sorry. Wisdom check as well, please. Oh, wisdom check as well. <laughs> That's a four. <laughs> as you approach and look diligently, you do see the darkness continues on downwards. You do see that there are a set of stairs made out of stone, carved ancient ruins. Down below, you can see it gets to be more silvery, almost as if, wait a second, it kind of looks like spider webs. Kick a couple rocks down there. Does somebody have like some fire, a light, a torch? There's plenty of light on, on Mick's head. You hear oh, that? Not light. Fire. That's what I'm after. Something to no burn fire around. on me. No fire on you. So we all like, came here like a uh, no fire. So you had a flash of oil, but it's for my hair. <clears throat> see this? This is beautiful hair. Humans who can't see in the dark didn't bring a torch. This is gonna go well. You uh, do okay. hear you do hear some chittering from that stone that was tossed down these stairs, mm. and uh, you do hear some movement. Like, or something down there. Let me. I'll take a moment to make a makeshift right. torch with my flask of oil. Yeah, or Arnwick. Ar the, the Arnwick got something. You, you're the one that brought us here. You got any fire on you? I'm the one that brought us here. Uh, yeah. I actually have a couple of torches here. Pulls one out. Why didn't you say so? Yeah, like, give man, it to like, the barbarian. Yeah. Well, come on, man. Know, these things cost. You know, he yeah, hands yeah. it over to Mick. That's part of the expense, you know? Like, okay, the okay, gold okay. Like, uncover expense. It's 100 gold plus expense. We talked about that. Mick. All right, I got the torch, and I'm going to head down those stairs slowly. You guys behind me, you got my back? Maybe no, get no, rid no, of the spider webs first. Get rid of the spider webs first. You, you got this big shiny head on you now. The torch is to burn those fucking web. Burn that shit. That, that, should, that should catch fire without problem. Like, like well, I'm working, on, I'm, I'm working ahead, on it, man. I'm working on it. And, Set it to you, fire. you approach, you go into the entry, you have the torch in your hand. I stay back. I take the torch and I stick the silver threads on fire. Pull on my dagger, just in case. They start to pistol around. You can see that it kind of does a kind of a strange kind of arcing across the walls. And then suddenly down below you can kind of feel the rush of wind coming from your back as you can kind of see that the light flickers around and you can hear a little scream and then nothing you can kind of smell kind of burnt stuff in the air musty and with a flash down below First hazard down. When I see when I see the flash, uh, when I see the flash going uh, away, I yell at Mick, "Come back out a bit, like step back a bit. Let's look what's happening now. Let's see if we're gonna drag somebody else. You know, we better you fight them it. out here than fight them in the in this hallway." You got it. Now we just wait. I walk away from the doorway. I'll go in oh. and see if I can. Um, I'm gonna go in and look. Uh, sorry, listen. Um, um, see what uh, other sounds there may be. You take Just a like good listen. Ears. You can hear a little scurrying going about in the background. Fair yeah. distance. Okay. So there is still some stuff alive down here. Probably a bunch of spiders. Probably. Hopefully no That's one's going to help. I'd like to know how big the spiders, you know what I mean? If we can hear them from here, they're probably not like your garden variety. Well, sound echoes weird on in the underground too. 
but oh, yeah, that's probably that's as good. big as I am, at least. <laughs> if not oh, bigger. Gotta go first. Not With it. Ernier uh, and Rain, you do notice the stairwell descends down their distance. And you can somewhat see, Rain, that there is some form of a obstruction in in the bottom of the uh, where the stairs end. Yeah, I will, very uh, dark. Close my eyes for a minute and get them readjusted to the dark, and then head down and take a look. Fall as you rain. as you walk along, Rain, you end up hearing something go triggering underneath your feet. <laughs> I dive backwards. Oh, keep going. You keep on going, and uh, you continue on. You hear another. I, I, and... I, I'm I behind Mick, just uh, to be clear. Like I, stay, like, I don't know where Mick is, but I stay behind him. Brian, you're yeah. crazy. Well, you hear that sound? I, I hear it, but... Don't make me come in there and try and save you, man. Yeah. Well, if I go, drinks are on me, I guess. <laughs> Just keep going. Rain, you arrive at the bottom as far as you can go. However, you do notice that in front of you, blocking the way, is a large stone block. However, there is part of it that has been smashed away by what looks to be like indentations into the rock and some of the rock had been crumbled down on the side there is enough space for a person to crawl through well someone triggered a trap here and then something else decided to go in after them i uh, uh i'll slide down towards rain mick you're still Cal outside calrissian approaches um, I'm going to take a look and see if it's uh, high enough for me to climb, or low enough for me to climb up on Twitter. Am I going to need to boost up? You do not have to climb. It looks to be like part of the stone had been sundered across and okay. broken away, and there is a crawl space. Okay, I will uh, crawl in first. Rain, Move down towards the door. Rain approaches and crawls in making her way into the crawl space up between the stone and the wall. Mick, stay close to me. We're going to work our way down the stairs, too. Yeah, like I am following you. I was about to ask. Like You can, you can, you can still see the demi-human the there. I kind of do like a stage whisper. Shh, guy, let's just come in. Let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, tread carefully. Like, you already left the party. I yell back up to him. There's two clicks on your way down. Maybe, maybe that does something. I think we've already tried. <laughs> you hear a muffled voice. I think they already triggered the whatever it was. As you time. speak, Rain, you can hear something scuttle in the darkness around you. 